If you own a vehicle long enough, sooner or later, the headlights will become foggy and yellow and need restored. So do you just use a little WD-40 to restore them, or do you go out and buy yourself a kit? Now, I really like kits because they make things simple. They include everything you need, but the question is, there are so many of them out there, so which ones really deliver good results? We're gonna test a whole bunch of different headlight restoration kits today, and we'll see which of these products works the best. Most headlight lenses are made of polycarbonate, which is not the same thing as acrylic plexiglass. Actually, polycarbonate is around 250 times more impact resistant than glass. The downside is that it scratches very easily and is sensitive to UV exposure. To protect the polycarbonate, manufacturers coat the headlight lens with a primer and sealer during the manufacturing process. UV exposure and heat causes the protective coating as well as the outer layer of the polycarbonate to deteriorate, resulting in cloudiness and yellowing. So basically, all of these kits do the same thing. They use various types of abrasives such as sandpaper and rubbing compound to remove the damaged coating and damaged polycarbonate from the headlight lens. Once the damaged coating is removed, these kits also polish the fresh outer layer of the polycarbonate headlight lens. It's not possible for me to find 10 equally cloudy and hazy headlight lenses from the same car manufacturer. In order to create a fair comparison, I'm going to replicate similar conditions using some polycarbonate sheets. I'll first begin by sanding the polycarbonate with 120 grit using an orbital sander. I'll use a new piece of sandpaper for each sheet of polycarbonate to make sure the damage is consistent. After sanding all the polycarbonate sheets, I'll spray on a yellow tinted protective coating. Then I'll wait 24 hours for the protective coating to fully cure. It's been right at 24 hours and our test samples are ready to be tested. The least expensive product we'll be testing costing only $5.59 is this product made by Turtle Wax, like new in minutes. Seal and Seal technology increases clarity, brightness, and visibility. Designed to remove medium oxidation and yellowing to improve headlight performance. The kit includes precision polishing pads, spray lubricant, lens clarifying compound, and base coat and lens sealing wipes. Made in USA. Wash headlight lens to remove surface dirt. Use masking tape to protect surrounding paint surfaces. Step two, apply lens clarifying compound to a cotton cloth and rub over the entire lens using firm pressure. Buff with a clean terry cloth. If lens turns clear, proceed to step three below. If lens is not clear after using lens clarifying compound, proceed to step 2A below. Step 2A, apply spray lubricant to green polishing pad and directly to the lens. Use pads on only those areas requiring restoration. Begin rubbing pad number one using firm pressure in a back and forth motion over the lens until the oxidation is removed. Use the spray lubricant as necessary to keep the lens and pad wet. In order to do a good job of removing this coating as well as the polycarbonate that's been roughed up, I really need a lot larger piece of sandpaper. This sandpaper is already pretty much worn out. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to step two. Flip to the tan side of the polishing pad. Rub back and forth in opposite direction, 90 degrees of the green pad for one minute, keeping the pad and lens surface wet using the spray lubricant. Step B, using the teal side number three of the second pad, repeat process in the opposite direction of previous pad for one minute. Flip to the purple side number four and repeat process in opposite direction of previous pad side for one minute. Dry lens with a cotton towel, apply lens clarifying compound and rub thoroughly until the lens turns clear. Let compound dry to haze and buff with a cotton cloth. Lens clarifying compound can be applied by machine with a foam pad at 1500 RPM. Open pouch containing the lens coat wipe using a plastic glove included in kit. Quickly coat both lenses with the wipe. Once dry, immediately follow with the lens sealing wipe, which helps prevent future yellowing. Coating will cure within 24 hours. However, vehicle can be driven immediately after application. The second least expensive product we'll be testing at $13.96 is this Vispella brand DIY headlight restoration kit. It claims to be quick and easy. I first thought this product was made in the United States because of the American flag, but after a closer look, made in China. Sandpaper, polishing paste, UV protective liquid. Step one is sanding. Wet the sanding disc and attach it to the backer pad. Sand with three different grits to completely remove the heavy yellowing, fading, and corrosion. Polishing. Attach the orange sponge disc to the backer pad and apply the polishing paste. Polish the lens until shine is restored to its original condition. For best results, use an electric buffer or polisher. If polishing by hand, polish with no less than 200 circular strokes clockwise. Protection. Clean the headlight lens and make sure the lens is dry before the protection step. Use the white sponge kit provided in the kit. Evenly apply the protect liquid on the surface of the lens. After apply it, stay for 10 to 15 minutes to let the liquid flow evenly itself. Then dry it in direct sunlight immediately. One to two hours is suggested. 
Costing only $13.99 is this Pittsburgh brand, which is sold at Harbor Freight. It's their deluxe lens renewal system. Sand refined polish to restore cloudy and dull headlights. Improve nighttime visibility and brightness. Easy four-step process. Mask, sand, refine, polish. Masking tape. Polishing compound. Disc pad holder. Polishing pad. Pittsburgh has six pieces of 500, four pieces of 800, and two pieces of 3000. Unlike the Visbella, wet sanding is not required for the first two steps using the 500 and the 800 grit sandpaper. Clean the lens with soap and water. Mount the disc pad holder into the drill. Attach and center the 500 grit abrasive disc to the disc pad holder. Sand lens using medium to light pressure to remove yellowing and surface defects. Sand lens using a slow and steady back and forth action. When the disc is clogged or no longer sands effectively, replace with a new 500 grit abrasive disc. Unfortunately, this Harbor Freight sandpaper just clogs very easily. Wipe off and inspect the lens. All yellowing and defects should be completely removed. If yellowing, defects, or a portion of the surface coating still exists, continue sanding with G500 grit abrasive disc until they are completely removed. Remove the 500 grit abrasive disc, attach and center the 800 grit abrasive disc to the disc pad holder. Sand lens using a medium to light pressure to reduce sanding scratches from a 500 to an 800 grit scratch. Wipe the lens, the scratches should be finer. If any coarse scratches are visible, continue sanding with the 800 grit abrasive disc until coarse scratches are reduced. Attach and center a 3000 grit abrasive disc to the disc holder pad. Using a spray bottle, apply enough water to dampen both the 3000 grit abrasive disc and the lens surface before sanding. The 3000 grit abrasive disc can be used flat against the lens. Sand lens using medium to light pressure to reduce the 800 grit scratches to 3000 grit scratches. Mist the surface with water if it dries during sanding. Attach and center the orange foam polishing pad to the disc pad holder. Dispense a dime sized amount of polishing compound to the orange foam polishing pad. Before turning on the drill, smear the polish with the orange foam polishing pad around the lens. Holding the polishing pad on the lens, polish the lens until the cloudy haze is gone and the clarity is significantly improved. Costing $14.43 is this 3M headlight restoration system. Sand refined and polished to restore cloudy and dull headlights. Compound pads and white P800 grit disc made in USA. Gold P500 made in Canada. Gray 3000 grit made in UK. Adapter made in China. Rubbing compound. Polishing pad. Very similar to the Pittsburgh kit, the 3M kit also includes six pieces of 500 grit, four pieces of 800 grit, only one piece of 3000 grit sandpaper. Clean the lens with soap and water. Mount the disc pad holder into the drill. Attach and center the P500 gold disc to the disc pad holder. Using medium to light pressure, begin sanding to remove the yellowing surface defects from the lens. Wow, check out how quickly the 3M sandpaper is removing the material. Instead of the yellow coating and polycarbonate clogging the sandpaper, the sandpaper is doing an amazing job. When the disc is clogged or no longer sanding effectively, replace with a new gold disc. Wipe off the lens and inspect to ensure all yellowing defects have been completely removed. Attach and center a P800 white disc to the disc pad holder. Using medium to light pressure, begin sanding to reduce the sand scratches from a 500 to an 800 grit scratch. Once again, the US made 800 grit is doing an amazing job, by far the best sandpaper we've tested. Remove the white disc, attach and center the P3000 green gray foam disc to the disc holder pad. Using a spray bottle, apply enough water to dampen the green gray disc and the lens surface before sanding. The disc can be used flat against the lens. Compounding the lens. Remove the P3000 foam disc. Attach and center the orange foam compounding pad to the disc pad holder. Dispatch a dime sized amount of 3N rubbing compound to the orange foam compounding pad. Before turning on the drill, smear and polish the orange foam pad around the lens. This will reduce the splatter. Holding the pad flat on the lens, polish the lens until the cloudy haze is gone and the clarity is significantly improved. Costing $14.70 is this mother's new lens headlight renewal kit. It claims to be fast and easy. Made in USA. Power plastic for lights plastic polish. Backing plate. Power ball for lights. 3 inch soft flex backing plate. The mothers includes two pieces of 800, two pieces of 1500, and only one piece of 3000 sandpaper. Step one, eliminating pitting and major defects. Center and attach one 800 grit sanding disc to the backing plate. Spray liberal amounts of water on the surface of lens. Hold the drill flat when sanding, run at four to 600 RPM using light to moderate pressure. Sand using back and forth overlapping motions at slow and steady pace, adding more water as necessary to rinse away residue. Wipe lens dry with a towel and inspect. It should have an even visible haze throughout. 
Step two, reducing the haze. Center and attach one 1500 grit sanding disc to the backing plate. Spray liberal amounts of water on the surface of the lens. Hold the drill flat when sanding, running at four to 600 RPM using light to moderate pressure. Sand using back and forth overlapping motions at a slow and steady pace, adding more water as necessary to rinse away residue. Wipe lens dry with towel and inspect. Step three, preparing for polish. Center and attach the 3000 grit foam finishing disc to the backing plate. Ensure surface is dry and do not wet surface. Hold the drill flat when sanding, running at 1300 to 1700 RPM using light to moderate pressure. Sand using back and forth overlapping motions at a slow and steady pace. Polishing the lens. Center and attach the Powerball for Lights foam polishing tool to the backing plate. Apply a nickel sized amount of Power for Lights to the center of ball. Start the drill slowly to reduce slinging. Use moderate pressure. As polish is spread, increase speed to 1300 to 1700 RPM, adding polish as needed. Polish in a small area until entire lens is clean and clear using back and forth overlapping motions. Buff and clean with a dry microfiber towel. Costing $19.99 is this Sylvania Headlight Restoration Kit. Three time award winning product, lifetime warranty. Surface activator, clarifying compound, UV block clear coat. Locate three sheets of sandpaper supplied in the kit. Identify the 400 grit, 1000 grit, and 2000 grit sandpapers. Fold the three sheets in half using one half of each sheet for each headlight. Begin sanding with the 400 grit sandpaper. Fully wet the headlight lens and sandpaper with clean water. Sand the surface of the headlight lens using even circular motions in medium pressure. Continue to add water as you perform the sanding process, keeping the headlight and the sandpaper wet. Sand the entire surface until the headlight lens feels smooth to the touch. Step two, sand and polish. Using 1000 grit sandpaper and medium pressure, sand all headlight lens surfaces multiple times, adding water as necessary for approximately five minutes. Using a 2000 grit sandpaper and firm pressure, sand all headlight lens surfaces multiple times, adding water as necessary for approximately five minutes. Open the packet labeled clarifying compound. Apply a quarter size dollop onto one of the white towels provided about one half of the contents of the package. Wet the headlight lens and rub the compound over the entire lens using even circular motions and firm pressure. Rub all surfaces multiple times for five minutes. When complete, rinse the lens thoroughly and completely dry it off. You will still see a light white haze to the lens. This is normal. Reapply the surface activator for 30 seconds and then thoroughly rinse with water. Step three, UV block clear coat application. Thoroughly soak the entire folded edge of the blue towel with UV block clear coat until the liquids extend one half inch from the folded edge. Starting in one of the upper corners of the headlight lens, wipe the moistened edge of the towel across the lens from side to side in a smooth and continuous motion. The most expensive kit we'll be testing is this Meguiar's headlight restoration kit costing $23.99. Pro results, restores clarity to severely oxidized and yellowed headlights. Headlight coating, headlight lens polish, hand pad, finishing disc, Meguiar's yellow polishing pad, gray applicator pad. Remove any dirt, dust, or debris from headlight using glass cleaner and a clean towel. Attach the 1000 grit finishing disc to hand pad. Maintain or keep the finishing disc wet by dunking it into a small container with water or spraying water directly onto the disc. Frequently wet the disc for lubrication. The challenge I'm finding with this Meguiar's is that it starts off with a 1000 grit sandpaper when all the other brands had somewhere between a 400 and up to an 800 grit as the starting point. And obviously you want a more coarse sandpaper, especially if you're trying to hand sand. It's a lot of work using a 1000 grit to cut off oxidized material. Remove the 1000 grit finishing disc and attach the 3000 grit finishing disc to the hand pad. Maintain or keep the finishing disc wet by dunking it into a small container with water or spraying water directly onto the disc. Wipe the headlight dry with a microfiber towel. Step four, attach the Meguiar's yellow polishing pad to drill. Step five, apply a nickel sized amount of Meguiar's Plastex polish to pad. Place the pad face flatly on the surface to be restored, then tilt the pad to one side before activating the drill. Heavy pad pressure is not required. Spray restored headlights with a glass cleaner to remove all product residue and wipe clean and dry with microfiber towel. Step eight, ensure the headlight surface is clean and dry. Apply the coating to the gray applicator pad. Begin to apply the coating from top to bottom evenly. Continue working your way across the headlight with overlapping strokes until the entire headlight has been treated. Product dries to touch in 15 minutes. Product fully cures in 24 hours. 
In my opinion, the most important factor when restoring headlights is having a really good quality sandpaper. Just a quick comparison between the Harbor Freight Pittsburgh, which I believe is the worst, and the 3M, which I believe is the best. Both the Pittsburgh as well as the 3M are 800 grit. We'll begin with the Pittsburgh and then use the 800 grit 3M. We'll be using the Pittsburgh applicator pad. You can see it's already clogged up and quite frankly it really didn't do much as far as removing material. Wow, look at all that material! 3M is just getting after it and doing a terrific job. The difference between the 3M and the Harbor Freight is the 3M is removing products, the product is actually sticking to the Harbor Freight. Let's look at how these products perform beginning with the last place finisher, Turtle Wax. New undamaged polycarbonate is on the left and Turtle Wax is on the right. You can see tiny air bubbles in the new polycarbonate, but there aren't any scratches. The tiny pieces of sandpaper in the Turtle Wax just didn't last long enough to remove the yellowing or deep scratches and the protective coating remained sticky even after several days of cure time. In fairness to the product, it's not designed for badly damaged headlight lenses. The Turtle Wax is on the left and Harbor Freight Pittsburgh is on the right. Pittsburgh definitely did a better job than Turtle Wax, but deep scratches remain and without a protective coating, the headlight lenses will become damaged by UV exposure in under a year. Visbella is on the left and Meguiar's is on the right. While the Visbella did not remove the deep scratches, the protective coating definitely did help. However, even after several days of cure time, the protective coating remained sticky. The big difference between the two is that the protective coating on Meguiar's is not sticky and is fully cured. Meguiar's is on the left and Mother's is on the right. Mother's definitely did a better job at removing the deep scratches. The protective coating for both brands seems about the same. Mother's is on the left and 3M is on the right. 3M did an amazing job with all deep scratches removed and only very fine scratches remaining. Buying a UV protective coating will fill in the minor scratches and provide a long lasting finish with a 3M. 3M is on the left and Sylvania is on the right. The Sylvania kit did an amazing job removing the deep scratches and a protective UV coating filled in the very fine scratches. The fully cured top coating is not sticky or oily and looks amazing. Sylvania is on the left and the new polycarbonate is on the right. Sylvania is the only product that returned the polycarbonate to a like new appearance. Well, I almost fell for the trick that comes in a big box. It must be better than something comes in a smaller box trick that a lot of marketers tend to use. 3M as well as the Sylvania did by by far the best compared to the other products. Those two products I would highly recommend purchasing. Now if you buy the 3M you're definitely going to want to put some type of protective coating over the finished product or the UV exposure will definitely cause the headlight lenses to once again fade within about a year. All my video ideas including this one come from viewers. So if you'd like more headlight lens test kits tested please leave a comment let me know which brands I missed and I'll try to do another round. If you have other video ideas, please leave a comment on those as well. I read and reply to as many comments as possible and really like your feedback. So thanks so much for watching the video. Please take care and I look forward to next time.